What up, guys? So it's about 11.15 right now. I'm going to give this about two minutes just so that everybody can log on. Um, just to let you guys know, today will be going a little bit easier than we did yesterday. So today is going to be a vinyasa flow class. What up, James? Um, I'm going to be taking it down a few notches. So we will be doing a few flows. Um, I kind of hurt my back a little bit yesterday, last night, not during class. Um, so I will probably be modifying more than normal today. Um, but again, I'll show you full variations so that you guys can go ahead and turn it up. Um, I will be using my two blocks today, my favorite little blocks. Uh, again, from Second Wind Health, I'm gonna keep telling you guys about these because blocks are very important to have next to your mat whenever you wanna go either a little bit deeper or you wanna dial it down a notch. Um, sometimes you just don't know until you make it to your mat uh, what exactly your body's gonna be feeling that day. So I highly recommend getting those blocks um, also, again, I am using a Second Wind Health mat. So my mat is 100% cork, uh, totally antimicrobial. This thing cleans itself. It's super thick. And uh, the thing with 100% cork is there's no toxins in these mats. So yes, it's fully functional, but also the cool part is, is that it's live cork. So when you put your hands and your feet down, the cork starts to grow around your hand and feet placement. So gives you that extra grip. I am obsessed with this mat. Guys, if you want one, he is doing a sale um, up until the weekend, 30% uh, off all of his mats. So if you just use the code Jedi Yoga Warrior, you guys will all get 30% off. Um, okay, so I'll be using my blocks. I have my mat set up. Make sure you've got a glass of water. We're gonna do about 16 minutes of flowing today. So when you guys all get ready, we'll give it a few seconds. We're just gonna meet down on the mat and come into a wide knee child's pose. So your knees are gonna be really wide on the mat. Toes will be touching in the back. And then I just want you to go ahead and walk your hands towards the front of the mat. And you're gonna rest your forearms down, rest your forehead. And then maybe you wanna shift your hips from side to side. Give it a little bit of a wiggle. And then here you can start to incorporate the breath. So you maybe want to take a deep breath in through the nose. Exhale out the mouth. I'll do that one more time. Breath in. Out the mouth. Seal the lips up, breathe in through the nose. Breathe out of the nose. And you wanna let your stomach muscles soften here. Hips start to get really heavy. And let's just take one more breath together in and out. Nice and slow, you'll lift your chest up, walk your hands back towards your legs, and then just bring the knees together to touch. So you're still sitting back on your heels here. You want to take a deep breath in, reach your arms all the way up, find length through the side body, and then exhale, drop your right hand over to the right and stretch over to the right with your left hand. You're now looking underneath your left armpit. Keep reaching and keep your sit bone, your left sit bone, glued down towards your left heel. You're pulling your stomach muscles in and reaching. And then nice and slow, come all the way back up to center, breath in. Exhale, other side, left hand drops, right arm reaches. Zip the stomach up and in and stretch. One more. Inhale all the way back up to center, reach the arms high. Exhale, bring your arms back behind you. Fingertops are gonna touch the mat. And then from here, press down into the fingertips, lift the hips, drop the gaze. Take one breath in and one breath out. Inhale, slow lower the hips. Bring the arms all the way back up. 
As you exhale, your left hand comes to the outside of your right thigh. Your right hand goes behind you. Sit up tall, breath in. Exhale, twist. Inhale. Exhale, twist and squeeze. Inhale, both arms reach back up. Exhale, right hand to the outside of the left thigh, left fingertips down. Inhale, get long. Exhale to twist. And you can apply a little bit of pressure on the outside of the left thigh here. Go ahead and twist through the spine a little bit deeper. Let's take one more breath in. And one more breath out. Inhale all the way back up. Exhale, this time you're just going to fold forward with your knees together, coming into a closed knee child's pose. From here, reach the hands forward, lift the elbows up, forehead is going to rest on the mat. Take one breath in, and one breath out. Now staying down in your child's pose, just reach back for the outsides of the feet or the heels. Inhale nice and slow, draw the stomach muscles in and start to lift the hips up. One breath in, one breath out. Squeeze those stomach muscles. Inhale slow, lower. Exhale, reach the arms forward. Inhale, press it all the way up. Find a tabletop position here. Sorry, let me fix my pants. <laughs> And then once you get into your tabletop, just shift the hips from side to side. Spread the fingers really wide. Make sure that your wrists are lined up directly underneath your shoulders. Your knees are going to be right underneath your hips, and you're pressing down through the tops of the feet. From here, a couple rounds of cat-cow. Inhale to lift, draw the shoulders back. Exhale to round. Again, inhale, lift. Exhale, round. Inhale, come back to neutral. From here, just tuck your toes under and sit your hips back towards your heels. So you're trying to open up the muscles right through the base of the feet. You're applying a lot of pressure into the palms to drive those hips back. Take one breath in. As you exhale, lift the hips nice and high. Come into your first down dog. Obviously, because this is your first down dog, the hamstrings are going to be a little bit tight, along with the rest of the muscles through the back of the body. So let's go ahead and pedal out the legs. Maybe you just want to shift your hips from side to side. Maybe you're lifting your heels, bending your knees. Just find a variation that works best for you to open up. We'll take two more rounds of breath wherever you are. From here, pull the stomach muscles in, extend the right leg all the way up, point the toes, and then exhale nice and slow. You'll step your right foot to the outside of your right hand and then tap your left knee down. Untuck your back toes, and then from here, just walk your right foot over to the right a little bit more. So you're angling the toes out to about, I'd say about 45 degrees. And then you're going to plant your left hand underneath your left shoulder. Right hand is going to come to the right knee, and then you're just going to start to press the knee away from you as you twist to look over the right shoulder. Stomach muscles drawing in again. Keep pressing. You've got three breaths here. Trying to press the hips forward and down. And try not to collapse into the left shoulder here. You want to be pressing the mat away from you. So you're powering up the entire left arm. Last breath. Inhale nice and slow. You'll come back to center. Plant your right hand underneath your right shoulder. Tuck your back toes, lift your back knee. Then go ahead and step back to a high plank. From here, make sure you're all lined up. Again, wrists underneath the shoulders. Activate the core and squeeze the glutes. You're trying to press the backs of the knees up towards the sky. And then once you've got a really strong foundation here in your plank, I want you to slide forward a couple inches and slide back. Let's do that one more time. Slide forward, 
Slide back, down dog. All right, pedal the legs out. And then dropping the heels super heavy, draw the stomach muscles in and wrap your shoulders down. Inhale, your left leg reaches high, point the toes. Exhale, bend your left knee and step your left foot to the outside of your left hand. Tap your right knee down. From here, untuck your back toes. Heel toe your left foot out to an angle. And then right hand is right underneath the right shoulder as you press the left knee away from you with the left hand. From here, you're lengthening through the spine. So there's one big long line from your tailbone to the crown of your head, drawing the stomach muscles in and you're twisting. Two breaths here, press those hips down as you press the mat away. Last breath. Slow, come back to center, plant your left hand down. Tuck your back toes, lift your back knee, step back, high plank. Spread the fingers wide, glide forward, breathe in. Exhale, press it back. One more, inhale forward. Exhale back. Down dog, four rounds of breath. And if you want to continue bending the knees and straightening the other, you can continue through that stretch or you can just drop the heels and try to breathe into the back body here by lifting the hips up super high. Draw the navel in towards the spine and your gaze should be either between your calves or up between the knees. So you really want to activate the spine muscles right here, like all the muscles basically that are surrounding the spine. Inhale, lift high onto the toes, gaze goes forward. Exhale, bend your knees, and then just step up in between the hands. Big toes touching, heels spaced. Inhale, halfway lift, bring your hands onto your shins for this first lift, and then exhale to fold. Let's do that again. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale to fold. Inhale, reach your arms all the way up. Palms are gonna meet high over your head. Exhale, cactus the arms out to the side. So your elbows are coming out to 90 degrees and you're lifting the center of your chest up. Inhale, reach it high. Exhale, cactus. One more, inhale to reach. Exhale to cactus. Inhale, reach it up. Exhale, hands to heart, lower the arms along the sides, come into your mountain pose, your Tadasana. Now just check down, everybody make sure that your big toes are really touching here. I would say it's about three inches between your heels though, so you're almost creating a triangle here through the feet, okay? And then from here you may want to have your blocks handy, or a book, or a box. I know you guys have some Amazon boxes lying around. <laughs> Inhale, reach your arms all the way up, stretch super high. Exhale, hands to heart and fold. From here, inhale, halfway lift. Try to keep your fingertips on the mat this time and maybe just bend the knees a little bit. From here, release. Now you're gonna take a hold of your blocks or one block, doesn't really matter. I'll use one for this demonstration. You're gonna bring both hands on the block and I would say it's about right underneath your chin, okay? So from here, once you find a neutral spine, you're just gonna take your right hand on the block, extend your left arm high. So a big twist here through the spine. Keep your core activated as you reach up and then try and see if you can look up. Take a breath in. And then maybe bend the right knee as you twist. Two more breaths here. Keep reaching, keep twisting, keep squeezing the core. Nice and slow. Inhale, reach up high. Exhale, straighten the right leg, bring the left hand back down. Other side. 
Inhale, reach your right arm up. Exhale to twist. Start to bend the left leg, squeezing the core, twisting to look up, reaching higher. Last breath. Inhale, reach it high. Exhale, plant the hand back down on the block. Remove the block and fold. Inhale, halfway lift, long spine. Exhale to release. Now I want you to bend your knees a lot here. You're gonna go ahead, reach back behind your legs and grab for opposite elbows. From here, round your spine, tuck your chin towards your chest, and then just start to straighten the legs. Squeeze those stomach muscles in. It makes it way easier to fold here and stretch into the hamstrings. Keep tucking the chin. Crown of the head is super heavy down towards the feet. You're softening the shoulders. And keep straightening those legs. Try not to lock them out though. You just wanna get them as long as they go before they lock. So try lifting the kneecaps if you're super flexible. One more breath. Inhale, release the arms. Exhale, unravel. Nice and slow, one vertebrae at a time. You're gonna come all the way up to stand. Your head will be the last thing to roll up. And then from there, you're just gonna take your shoulders towards your ears, round them down your spine. Let's take one circle through the head, one direction, and then in the other direction. Come back to neutral. Hands are gonna meet at the heart. From here, let's go ahead and take a giant step back with our right foot, okay? So you're gonna be on the ball of the right foot. And then from here, just bring the crown of the head to face the front of the mat. Shift your left hip back and roll your right hip forward. Engage the core muscles, extend the arms back along the sides. Palms are facing down. Fingers are reaching towards the back of the mat and then you're pulling the sides of your hands, the pinky edge of your hands, towards your side body. So as you're reaching, you're getting longer. Again, it's one straight line from the right heel up through the crown of your head. So get really low here. We've got two more breaths. Hands are gonna meet again at the heart. Exhale, I want you to twist to the left. Right elbow comes to the outside of your left thigh. Now, you can use a block here if you wanna place it on the outside of your left foot. You can go ahead and plant your hand down and extend your left arm high. Otherwise, stay here. Bring the hands to the heart. So the thumbs are pressing into the center of your chest and you're rolling your gaze up. Squeeze those core muscles. Two breaths. Inhale, slow, come back to center. Exhale, reach the arms high, crescent lunge. And I know what you're thinking. There's a lot of fire in the front thigh right now. That's okay, that's what the breath work is for. We're gonna breathe through this. We've got three breaths, get really low, lift that back heel super high, and then get length through the side body as you reach your hands up extra high. Soften the shoulders. Last breath. Hands come back to the heart, step forward. Shake those legs out. <laughs> All right, let's even out the other side. So from here, you're stepping back with your left leg now. Find the strong base through the legs, lift the back heel really high, and then inhale, crown of the head comes forward. Exhale, arms sweep back along the sides. Open up through the chest. Now the closer you bring your pinkies to your side body, the more opening you're gonna get here through the front body. So keep reaching those hands back, tuck the chin, and get low. Two breaths. Make sure your knee is not going in front of the toes. I would even say just try to keep your knee stacked right on top of your ankle. And then from here, keep the same foundation through the legs, hands come through the heart. Inhale, get a little bit longer, shift that right hip back, and then exhale, twist to the right. So now your left elbow is coming to the outside of your right thigh, thumbs to the center of the chest, elbows super wide. 
press the left back of the knee up towards the ceiling and then lift your gaze. If you had a block on the other side and you want to place it on the outside of your right leg, you can open up. Let's take these last two breaths. Inhale slow, bring it back to center. Exhale, reach the arms up. Whew. Okay, just a couple rounds of breath here. Starting to sweat already. Reach up, get long. And then get low through the base. Last breath. Hands back at the heart. Step forward. Shake the legs out. Inhale, reach it high. Exhale, fold. Inhale, find a flat back here. So either your fingertips are on the ground or on your shins. Draw the stomach muscles in and fold. Let's do that again. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, plant the hands. Step back, find a high plank. From your high plank, I want you to take two rounds of breath. Squeeze the core. Inhale, roll forward. Exhale, tap your knees down, untuck the toes, and then bend your elbows to face the back wall and slowly lower down onto your chest and your chin. From here, keep your hands where they are, and then press down through the shoelace section of your feet and lift the kneecaps. Keep the elbows facing up and lift your head and chest on the inhale. Stay for the exhale. One more inhale. Exhale to lower. Let's do that again. Inhale, lift the knees, lift the head and chest. Stay for the exhale. Inhale. And exhale to lower. Press it up onto hands and knees. Let's get everything lined up. Spread the fingers wide. Tuck the toes, lift the knees to hover. Now the knees are barely off the mat right here, so you can barely slide a piece of paper underneath them. That's how low they are. I want you to fire up the core and then start to squeeze the thighs towards one another. Take one breath in. And then exhale, lift the hips up and back, down dog. We'll do five rounds of breath here in this down dog. And if you want to skip these down dogs or these vinyasa flows completely, you can just come down into your child's pose. Let's come back to the breath. Inhale, lift up high onto the toes, look forward. Exhale, bend your knees, and you can step or jump forward. Big toes touching, heels faced. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, let it go. From here, inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, hands to heart. Release the arms along the side. Let's reset. From here, Surya Namaskara B. Arms reach up, hips go low. So coming into a chair pose. And before we move out of the chair, I just want to make sure we've got that checklist down. So you're tucking your tailbone under, drawing your stomach muscles up and in. You reach high, and then maybe you can start to bring the pinkies towards one another. So you're internally rotating the shoulders. Sit your weight back down into your heels. Take a breath in. And then now you exhale, bring the hands to the heart, straighten the legs and fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands, step it back, high plank. Inhale, roll it forward. Exhale, nice and slow, lower all the way down to the ground, keeping your body in one straight line. Elbows squeezing in towards your ribcage. From here, walk the hands back so that they're framing the ribs. And then press down through the tops of the feet, lift the knees. Lift the chest completely so the arms are long. You're going to look over your right shoulder. And then look over your left shoulder. Come back to center. Let's transition straight back into a down dog. From here, inhale your right leg high, point the toes, roll your outer right hip down. 
Exhale, knee to nose. Step the foot in between the hands. Shift your back foot down completely on the mat, 45 degree angle, and then use your stomach muscles to reach the arms high. Warrior one. So we're gonna be here in this warrior one stance for about four breaths. I want you guys to get really long here through the sides and really low through the front thigh. So we're building strength in the thighs today, guys. I don't know if you noticed yet, but again, coming back to the breath, finding more length. Last big breath in and out. This time you'll reach up high, breathe in. Exhale, hands down. Just step back to a high plank. Inhale, roll forward. Exhale, slow to lower all the way down to the mat. Untuck the toes, walk the hands back. Press through the tops of the feet, lift the knees. Press through the palms, lift the head and chest. Look over the left shoulder. Look over the right shoulder. Back to center, down dog. Right away into the other side, left leg lifts up, point the toes, exhale knee to nose. Step the foot in between the hands, back foot roots down, arms reach high, warrior one. See if you can really square off the hips here in this pose. So shift the left hip back as you roll the right hip forward and then reach up through the arms. We've got one more breath here. Reach up higher. Exhale, hands down, step it back, high plank. Inhale, roll forward. Exhale, lower all the way to the mat. Untuck the toes, walk the hands back, straighten the arms, lift the knees. From here, you're just gonna stay. Two breaths. And there's a slight tuck of the chin here. Crown of the head is reaching up and you're finding more length through the neck. So ears are moving away from the shoulders. Then from here, go ahead, tuck the toes under, lift the hips up and back, down dog. We're gonna stay in this down dog for five breaths. So see how heavy you can get those heels and then spin the inner thighs up towards the ceiling. So there's an internal rotation of the thighs happening here. And you should be hiding your heels basically behind the feet. Maybe you can lift your gaze now from your calves or your knees up towards your belly button and get that extra stretch along the spine. Inhale, lift it up, look forward. Exhale, bend your knees, step or jump. Inhale, flat back. Exhale to fold. Inhale, sit your hips low, reach your arms high, chair pose. Nice and slow, come all the way back up to stand. Hands come together, lower them in front of your heart, and then release them along the sides. I want you guys to just close down your eyes here, standing in Tadasana. Palms are facing out, soften the shoulders. And just taking a couple rounds of breath, feeling all the energy moving up through the feet, out through the head. Trying to slow the heart rate, coming back to those really deep, long, controlled breaths. Now we slowed it down. We're ready for this next sequence. I want you to go ahead and reach the arms up, sit low. Come into that chair pose again. Take a breath in, look up between the hands. Exhale, sweep the arms back along your sides. Inhale, reach them up, look up. Exhale to reach them back. Again, reach it up. Reach it back. 
Inhale to reach, stand up. Exhale, twist, open to the right. Open your arms out to the side and then look over your right shoulder. Take one breath in and out. Inhale, both arms up. Exhale, twist to the left. Big wingspan here. You're stretching the arms in opposite directions as you look over your left shoulder. Keep squeezing the core. Inhale, both arms up. Exhale, sit low. Take a breath in, look high. Exhale, bring the palms together, lower them in front of your heart, and then straighten the legs and fold. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back, stomach muscles pull in. Exhale, plant the hands, step it back, high plank. Inhale, roll forward. Exhale, lower halfway or all the way, or you can take the first variation that we did where you lowered your knees, chest, chin. Everybody inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, right leg up, point the toes. Exhale, knee to nose. Extend it back. Exhale, knee to nose. Stay here. Look between the hands. Step your right foot down and through. Back foot roots down. Arms reach high. Warrior one. Breathe in, reach up. Exhale, open out to warrior two. So you may need to shift your back foot just a little bit like I did. I'm bringing that back foot to about 90 degrees now. So the knife edge of your left foot is now parallel to the back of your mat. And you're reaching your arms out in opposite directions. Get really low here. Draw the stomach muscles in, tuck the tailbone under, and then straighten out the spine. So you may need to reach back just a little bit rather than reaching forward, right? One more breath, try to soften the shoulders. Take any tension out of your face, that's a challenge. Inhale, reach your arms up, straighten your front leg. And then exhale, turn both feet to face out. Lower the hands in front of your heart. I want you to lower now into a goddess pose. So my feet are actually very wide. Yours do not need to be this wide. You can actually heel toe them in just a little bit. But I want you to get low. And then once you get low and you feel secure, you can bring your hands on top of your thighs. From here, you're gonna sit a little bit lower. So you're creating a little bit of a, a bow here between the shoulders. And then I want you to bring your left shoulder towards your right knee. Look over your right shoulder. Stay low, breath in and breath out. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, other side. Breath in. And breath out. Inhale back to center. Exhale, straighten the legs. Turn your back toes to face the front foot. Legs are still really wide. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, shift your right hip back and fold forward. So your fingers are now framing the right foot. And if your hands don't reach, please feel free to grab onto your calf or your ankle or utilize those blocks you've got right? Wherever you go with this, make sure you've got your balance and then start to round as you tuck your chin towards your chest. Pull those stomach muscles in again. There's rarely a pose where we're allowing those muscles to go loose. You want to shift the right hip back and then breathe into the outside of the right leg. Two breaths. Inhale, lift your chest. If you have blocks, please move them out to the side. Plant your hands down and walk the fingers back so that they're in line with the front heel. From here, I want you to bend the knee just a little bit and then scoop that right leg all the way up and back. Three-legged down dog, point the toes. Now from here, you're going to start to bend the right leg, pull the right heel towards the left glute muscle and stick your right knee all the way up towards the ceiling. Left heel is rooted down on the mat and both palms are equally pressing down into the ground. So you're not rolling over to the left side. You wanna go ahead and keep the chest squared to the floor. Keep the knee facing up. 
Inhale, extend your right leg long. Exhale, step your right foot outside your right hand. Tap your left knee down. You may need to slide the knee back just a little bit. And then from here, again, if you have your blocks, you can make sure that they're close and we can use them for this. But I want to make sure that your right foot is angled out to the side, 45 degrees. Your back knee is back so far that you're not pressing down on the kneecap, but you're pressing down on the muscle right above the kneecap, right? From here, you want to lift your chest up. Exhale, round the spine. So you start to pull the chin towards the chest. You can stay here, or you can lower down onto your forearms, or you can go ahead and take a block, place it underneath the forehead. Wherever you go here, I want you to breathe into the right hip joint. So you're trying to open that up. And you can start to move the right knee out to the right side if that feels good. But if you're really flexible through the hips, I challenge you to pull the right knee in closer towards your right shoulder. Wherever you are, you're pressing your hips down, but you're keeping the core activated. We've got two more breaths here. Go ahead, start to lift your chest up wherever you are. Plant your palms down if you're down on your forearms. And then from here, heel toe your right foot back into the center of the mat. Straighten your right leg and start to flex the right foot. So you're walking your hands back. Now, I don't want you guys to collapse back towards the back heel. I want you to keep the hips up so that your left hip is stacked right over top of the left knee. That's the challenge here. So you have to pull the right foot back towards your face and then fold. Keep shifting the right hip back and stay up through the hips. Inhale, lift your chest up. Exhale, fold. See if you can fold a little bit deeper. Let's do that again. Inhale to lift. Keep flexing and fold. Stay here for one breath in and one breath out. Inhale, lift your chest. Go ahead, start to walk your hands forward as you bend your front leg. You're going to tuck your back toes under, lift your back knee up. From here, you're going to walk your hands forward. You're distributing the majority of your weight into your front foot now. And then I just want you to kick the left leg high and flex the left foot. From here, inhale, lift the chest up. Shift the right hip back. Exhale, fold. Now inhale, lift the chest, lift the heel higher. Exhale, pull your left knee towards your nose. Inhale, kick it back and up, flex the foot. Exhale, knee to nose. From here, stay here with the feet. Bring your hands onto your hips. This is gonna require a little bit of concentration here. Find your focus and slowly start to lift your chest. Pulling your left knee in towards the stomach. And then from here, you want to reach your arms up. Exhale, cross your left leg over your right thigh and sit low. Okay? Once you have that, you can either bring the outsides of the ankles to touch or outside of the feet and the calf, or you can go ahead and hook the left foot around the right calf, right? You're going to sit super low. Left arm comes underneath the right, twist tie eagle, lift the elbows up in line with the chin, and pull them away from you. So we're stretching all those muscles that surround the spine and you're sitting lower, right? So squeeze those thighs, shift the left hip back, right hip rolls forward. Take a breath in. Exhale, start to round, elbows to knee. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, unwind the arms, bring the knee up towards the chest. Big toes touch, hands come together, lower them in front of your heart and release. Close your eyes. Deep breath in. Let's all that, all that heat out through the mouth. And we'll do that one more time. Deep breath in. Out of the mouth. Seal the lips. Let's come back to that Ujjayi breathing. Breathe out of the nose. Again. Open your eyes. Let's do the other side. Reach the arms up. Exhale, sit low. 
Look up between the hands. Exhale, fly the arms back along the sides, palms facing down. Really open the chest. Inhale, reach it up. Exhale, reach it back. Again, inhale. And exhale. Inhale, stretch all the way up, straighten the legs. Exhale, twist to the left, open the arms out to the sides. Stomach muscles pull in. Try to keep your hips facing forward. You're just twisting through the middle to upper portion of the spine. Inhale, both arms high. Exhale, twist to the right. Breath in. Breath out to twist. Inhale, both arms up. Exhale, sit low. Reach high, stay low. Exhale to fold. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, plant the hands, step it back, high plank. Inhale, your variation of vinyasa or just meet me back in a down dog. I'm gonna inhale, roll forward. Exhale, lower halfway, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog, pulling my shoulders back, keeping my thighs lifted. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, your right leg up, point the toes. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale it back. Exhale, knee to nose. Step the foot in between the hands. Swivel the back foot down. Warrior one. Reach the arms high. Breath in. Breath out. Open up, warrior two. Switch up that back foot. Make sure it's 90 degrees now. And then extend the arms out long. We got three more breaths here. Straightening out the spine. Really activate the arms. So spread the fingers wide. Really strong. Going 100% here on this last breath. Inhale, reach the arms high. Exhale, the toes go to face out. Hands come to the heart. Lower into your goddess. And see if maybe you can start to bring the heels in even more so that the toes go completely out to the sides. And then you get low, bring the hands on top of the knees, and then go ahead, start to settle in. Take a breath in, lift the chest. Exhale, right shoulder towards the left knee. Take a breath in. Breath out, stay low and twist. Inhale brings you back to center. Exhale, other side. Breath in. And breath out. Inhale, bring it up. Exhale, straighten the legs. Bring your hands to your heart. Shift to face the front of the mat so the back toes turn in. Your legs are still really long here. Inhale, lengthen up. Exhale, to fold. Fingers framing the front foot. Or again, take those blocks. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale to fold. Let's do that again. Inhale to lift. Shift the left hip back. Roll the right hip forward and fold. Back heel is rooted down. Last two breaths. Try to soften the shoulders, soften the muscles through your face. And from here, walk your hands back in line with the front heel. And then I want you to go ahead and bring that left leg all the way up. From here, bend the left leg. Bring the heel towards the opposite glute. Left knee faces up. So you're opening up that left hip. If you want to go ahead and draw some circles here, open it up a little bit more. Go ahead, but just keep that right heel planted into the ground. Inhale, extend the left leg long. Exhale, step the left foot outside the left hand, and then go ahead and scoot that right leg back. Okay. So here we are again. This is a really deep hip opener. You're angling the toes out to the sides. 
Hands are underneath the shoulders. You lift your chest, take a breath in. Exhale, round the spine, chin to chest. Stay here or whatever variation you took on the other side, see if you can come into that again on this side. Hips are strange because a lot of times you'll notice they're a little bit uneven. You can do one thing on one side and it's really, really hard on the other side. I notice it quite a bit, but that's why I always incorporate hip openers into my sequencing as I need them. Try to soften the hips down closer to the mat. Again, maybe the left knee is moving out to the left. Maybe it's pulling in a little bit closer to the left shoulder. I want you to choose what works best for you and breathe into whatever stretch that is. One more breath here. Inhale, lift the chest, plant the hands down, and then heel toe the left foot to the center of your mat. You're gonna straighten the front leg, walk the hands back, flex the left foot. Inhale, lift your chest up. Exhale, fold it forward. Inhale to lift. Exhale, fold. One more time. Inhale, lift. Exhale, fold. Keep the hips squared. Take one breath in. And then one breath out. Inhale, lift the chest. Slowly walk the hands forward as you bend your front leg. Tuck the back toes, lift the back knee. Walk the hands out in front of you. Power up the left leg and kick the right leg high. From here, inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, just fold the chest. This time, inhale, lift the chest, lift the back heel. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, lift it up and back, flex the foot. Exhale, knee to nose. Now stay here with the legs. Hands come onto the hips. This side might be a little bit harder because it's the left foot that we're requiring to balance us. You wanna lift all the way up, pull the knee in towards the chest. Extend the arms high. Exhale, cross the right thigh over the left thigh and whatever you did on the other side, if you hook the ankle, go ahead and do that. Sit low. Right arm is now reaching underneath the left arm, twist high, elbows in line with the chin. Right hip shifts back, left hip moves forward, you get low. Elbows are moving away from you. Feel the stretch through the back. Take one breath in. As you breathe out, you round. Inhale, pulls it back up. Stretch the arms high, pull the knee up in towards the chest. Exhale, lower the feet. Palms together, lower the hands. And then release. Take a deep breath in out the mouth. Okay. Separate the feet mat width. You're going to bring the toes to face out to the sides. And then from here, keep the hands at the heart. I want you to lengthen the spine. Take a breath in. Exhale nice and slow. You're going to sit down into your Malasana Yogi Squat. So the elbows are used here to press the knees away from one another. The thumbs are pulling in towards the chest. Lift the chest up in towards the thumbs and tuck your chin. Take a breath in and out. Two more like that. Maybe you want to close the eyes. Just starting to heavy the tailbone a little bit more so you can sit up really tall. Now if your heels are not touching, don't worry about it. Eventually the Achilles area and all that stuff will start to loosen up. These get easier over time. On your next inhale, you're firing up the legs, coming all the way up to stand. Stay for the exhale. Inhale, get long, tuck the tailbone. Exhale, sit low. And again, straightening out the spine, keeping the knees really wide. This time, 
You're taking your right hand back behind you, planting the palm on the ground, and I want you to lift the hips as you reach back with your left hand, okay? Nice and slow, you'll come all the way back into your malasana. All right, let's try that on the other side. Left hand comes back behind, plant the entire palm down, and then reach up and reach back. Look back, nice and slow, come all the way back to center. All right, from here, palms go down. You wanna step it back to a high plank. Inhale, roll forward. Exhale as slow as you can, all the way down to the ground. Landing everything at the same time. You're gonna bring your big toes together to touch. Reach your arms back along your sides and then interlace your fingers back behind your low back. Pull the palms together to touch if you can. Big toes touching, heels are wide. Take a deep breath in, lift your chest. Exhale, start to lift the hands. So the knuckles are pulling towards the back of the mat. With the big toes connected, I want you to lift the legs. Chin is tucked. Imagine you've got a little tennis ball between your chin and your chest and you don't want it to fall. Keep that engagement, a super long spine here. Breath in and a breath out. One more breath in. Nice and slow, lower everything down to the ground, release the grip of your hands and lower your right ear to the mat. Close your eyes. Keep your big... I don't know if uh, you guys were able to see me because my phone rang, so I just hopefully did not lose you. <laughs> okay, now you're gonna go ahead and bend your legs. I want you to reach back for the outsides of the ankles or the tops of the feet, okay? So if you grab for the outsides of the ankles, I want you to flex the feet, draw the knees together to touch. If you've got the outsides, pulling the thighs in to touch, take a deep breath in and a breath out. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, press the heels higher. You're rolling your shoulder blades back here. Breath in. And then nice and slow, release the grip, long legs, left ear to the floor. Two rounds of breath. Bring your chin back to center, fingertips underneath the shoulders. Press yourself up into a tabletop position. And if you've got those blocks and you want to use them for this, I'm going to show you how. For here, we're just going to go ahead and start to open up the shoulder a little bit more. So we're coming in to thread the needle. You want to find that neutral spine in your tabletop. Inhale your right arm out to the right side. And then exhale, thread your right arm between your left arm and your left thigh. You can either lower down onto your right shoulder and your right ear, or here's where you can utilize that block. You can go ahead and turn it vertical on your mat and then lower your right ear down to that. From here, you can either stay. There's a couple options, actually. You want to keep your hips squared, pressing down through the tops of the feet and the shin. You can either extend your left arm forward, rolling your left armpit down, or if you want to open up the left collarbone, you can start to reach your left arm up, bring it around your low back, either bringing the palm to face out or tucking your left fingertips on top of your right thigh. I'll let you guys choose the variation you guys feel works best. And if you've got that little bit of a twist here through the spine, maybe try to look up just a little bit. Stomach muscles drawing in. Let's take three breaths. And very carefully to come out of this, I want you to just go ahead and sweep your arm back around. Palm lands by your face. Inhale, your right arm goes all the way up. And then exhale, plant the palm. Let's do the same thing on the other side. So first we'll start by just shifting the hip from side to side. And then come back into neutral. Left arm extends left, breath in. Exhale, thread. And then lower your left ear and shoulder down. Now because I took a spinal twist on this last one, I'm gonna do that again. I'm gonna sweep my arm up, exhale, wrap. I'm tucking my fingers, reaching my left arm over to the right and opening my right shoulder out. Two more breaths here. Inhale, 
Inhale, bring your right hand back down by your face. Press into the palm. Unravel, extend the left arm all the way up. Exhale, plant the hand down. Okay. Spread the fingers wide, tuck the toes. Lift the hips up nice and high, down dog. Inhale, right leg up, point the foot. Exhale, bring your right knee over towards your right wrist. Ankle over towards the left wrist. And you want to settle your hips down, coming into your half pigeon prep. And then from here, you're either pulling the heel in towards your groin and then squaring the hips, or you see how far up you can get that chin to be parallel towards the front of the mat. Whichever variation you take, just look over your left leg, make sure that it's out nice and long. And then turning the hips to face forward, inhale, lift the chest, proud pigeon first. Exhale, walk the hands forward. Folding here, four rounds of breath. Here you can soften the stomach muscles. So again, it's really rare, I'm gonna tell you guys, when you can do something like that. Um, but right now, I really want you to release all tension through the body. So letting go of any of the muscles through your core, through your face, your shoulders, and just letting gravity pull the hips closer towards the mat. Inhale, walk your hands back, lift the chest up. From here, you're going to stay down in this pigeon, but just sweep the long left leg back around and bring the toes to the outside of your right knee. You're going to pull your right heel in close to your left glute. If this is a bit challenging and you guys notice that it feels a little bit better to have that right leg long, then go ahead and extend that bottom leg out and flex the foot. Wherever you are though, the left toes are in line with the right knee. You take your left hand back behind you. Inhale your right arm high. Exhale, take that elbow outside the thigh. Stay long through the spine and twist. Breath in, reach the crown of the head up. Exhale, twist deeper. You got one more. Inhale, slow, move it back towards the middle. And let's take a counter twist. And then coming back to center, just crisscross the ankles, plant the palms down, and step back to your down dog. Doesn't need to look pretty. Walk the legs out here. And then inhale, left leg goes up, point the toes. Exhale, knee to left wrist, ankle over to the opposite wrist, slide that right hip back. And then I like to just go ahead and challenge that hip joint <laughs> and start to bring my shin as parallel to the front of the mat as I can. That does not mean you guys need to do that. Also, if you have the blocks, please feel free to use them. You don't need to press your hips all the way down to the ground in order to feel this stretch. Everyone's gonna feel it a little bit different. Once you get into that foundation, just check back over your right shoulder, make sure that right leg is long. Then lift your chest up, find more space through the body as you breathe in. Exhale, walk the hands forward. Four breaths here. See where you can soften. Let those stomach muscles go. Maybe separate the teeth. Rock your forehead side to side. Doing whatever you can to release that tension. Inhale, lift the chest, walk the hands back. Now sit over onto your left hip, swing that right leg around nice and slow. And then bring those toes in line with the right knee, or the left knee. Now, if your leg was out long last time, keep it long. I'm gonna show you guys with a bent leg. So from here, you're pulling the right knee up, right hand goes back behind. Sit up tall, extend the left arm up, breath in. Exhale, knee to the outside of the thigh. Remain long through the spine as you twist. Draw the stomach muscles in. Breath in. Breath out. One more, breath in. And out. Inhale, back to center. Let's counter twist in the other direction. 
and then go ahead and move back to center from here. Okay, legs are going long. We're working our way down to the mat, guys. We're closing this out. I want you from here, draw the feet together, bring the palms to face up and sit up tall. Take a breath in. Exhale nice and slow, lower your body all the way down onto the ground. From here, I'm gonna use a block. You guys, if you have that book or you have that box, let's go ahead and grab it. You're gonna walk your feet in. And then from here, make sure the feet are in close enough so you can tap the back of your heel with your hand. I want you to lift the hip up and slide your block or your prop if you're rolled up blanket or your pillow underneath. And then just make sure that your tailbone is barely hanging off the edge. So I don't really want this on the middle back or the low back. I really want this right underneath your bum. Once you get here, arms go out to the sides, palms facing up. You can stay or feel free to get that extra stretch through the psoas by straightening the legs out long. And you can take them wide. You can bring them in narrow. Just listen to your body and try to soften. We're going to take about five more breaths here before we finish up in our Chavasana. So go ahead and make those breaths extra big. Ballooning out the stomach and letting all the air go. You want to feel the hips getting heavier on your prop each exhale. You guys feel free to stay here as long as you like. I'm going to go ahead, pull my feet in, lift my hips up, remove my prop, and lower my hips slowly back down to the ground. From here, coming into the final pose, corpse pose, Shavasana. My toes are going to drop out wide. I'm taking up quite a bit of space here. I'm even extending my feet over my mat. My arms are along my sides, palms facing up. And then I'm just gonna lift my chest up a bit and slide my shoulders underneath me. From here, close down the eyes, rock your head right. Rock your head left. Back to neutral. And land. back to your normal state of breath and try to maintain this inner sense of peace not only here in Shavasana but when you actually get up and walk away from your mat I will leave you guys here to stay as long as you like when you're ready to come out of your Shavasana just do it nice and slow Sending gratitude into each of your muscles, all of your bones, all of that connective tissue. Saying thank you for getting you through this last, I would say it's about 70 minutes of class today. <laughs> Go ahead, you'll slowly come out of your Shavasana. And I want to thank you guys again for showing up. Um, again, if you want that discount code for, wow. If you want that discount code for the yoga mats um, for 30% off, it's Second Wind Health is the name of the uh, mats that I use, all the props, everything. Um, and the discount code is Jedi Yoga Warrior. So it's 30% off. Guys, these cork mats, cork blocks, this everything, I, I'm obsessed with them. Um, like I said, they're antimicrobial, they clean themselves, and uh, yeah, I hope that you guys 
have had a wonderful class. I'm looking forward to tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow is going to be a hit yoga class, so <laughs> put sneakers on. <laughs> Make sure you've got that bottle of water. I'm gonna have the music blasting. It's gonna go really fast. I would say it's about 35 minutes of a class. So tomorrow, get ready. Uh, have a wonderful rest of your day today, guys. Namaste. 11.15, uh, 11.15, yes. So happy you guys joined today. Have a good one, guys. Hi, David. <laughs>